So uh, welcome everyone. This is Goma Monthly. Uh, this is a series of uh, virtual events we are holding in the after town hall. Uh, so today, yeah, today for the April Goma Monthly, uh, we have the Goma team and some other guests. And Pedro Lucas is talking of Cardano wallets. And here you will know uh, so what uh, uh, the Goma team is working on. So we start by presenting the Goma tech pool. Is this sounding on your side? Not really, no. Hey, guys. Nothing. We can't hear. Can you hear us? The video doesn't and seem uh, to be playing, though. Maybe Martin is facing the connection issues. Can someone hear me? Yes. Right, maybe uh, waiting. I think we lost Martin. Boaz, do you have the video that Martin was um, meaning to share? Maybe we could play it while he returns. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to share the link in the chat. So today okay. from... Morning time, we are having uh, connection issues. Okay. I think it. Um, I see a Canva link. And. Just going to try to open that one. Okay, it seems to be loading on my side. And Martin is returning. Yeah, guys, really, I'm sorry, my connection broke down. <laughs> yeah, Lucas, no can you help us to share the link I've been sharing in the chat so that Martin yeah. can be speaking from your sharing? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I can share my screen then. One sec. That will help, really. Thank you. Sure. Here we go. And we were getting to this one with the video, right? I don't right. think I'm sharing my audio, though. One second. screen with sound okay welcome to this video i'm martin musagara from goma cardano stake pool today we are talking of the goma cardano stake pool from the beginning as a proposal up to its implementation in the beginning it was just a brian's idea submitted in fund six by razali some sudden and the proposal was titled african learning institution stake pools 
I'm going to share the description of the proposal in the subscription of this video so you can check it. The proposal aimed to engage in education institutions in Africa, in DRC and in Ivory Coast to onboard thousands of learners using Stackpool as a learning and a business tool and opportunity to these countries' youth to access to this amazing Cardano blockchain. In DRC, is the Gonlac has been selected to host this tech pool. The project has been successfully funded and implemented. Goma tech pool is the proof actually. You can find some steps in previous videos we produced, uh, several videos we made in the past showing how things were going on. Actually, learners and uh, are learning more about Cardano and I am one of them and I've been excited to discover this impactful community and changing the world together. Bonjour, je suis Kakule Mouvunga Bodoin, l'un des apprenants de Steak Pool Goma. J'ai joint l'équipe il y a quelques mois, je dirais trois mois. Et depuis que je, je suis dans l'équipe, nous organisons plusieurs activités que je vais expliquer maintenant. Des activités et projets organisés pour promouvoir Cardano. Nous organisons des rencontres régulières physiques au Wada Hub depuis octobre 2020 pour promouvoir la blockchain Cardano. Et les sommets de Cardano que nous avons accueillis en 2021 continuent d'avoir un impact positif dans ce sens. Nous avons des développeurs et professionnels techniques. Et dans le cadre de notre apprentissage de plus tous, nous avons choisi l'approche basée sur le projet qui est celui de Jimba Labs. Merci. The stack pool server and materials are running on solar panels which is good for the environment and the professionals are monitoring this 24 hours every day to make sure we offer a high level of performance. The mission of the stake pool is to support ecotourism and conservation efforts within the National Park of Virunga. Challenges are still to overcome with English as the language is not uh, frequently spoken in GRC and this is preventing some learners to join the community. The energy security and the internet availability are affecting even the stake pool. Help growing Goma pool by staking with us or donating other. Thank you. Okay, this looks great. Congratulations, guys. So next slide. Yeah, as we said, the the stack pool is uh, is raised by Isir Granlac, and uh, also the pledge is raised by Isir Granlac, and our pledge is vowed to increase over time in order to give you the best baking to achieving rewards. We also have a reliable relays and our relays are spread on the African continent as standalone servers in North America and on the cloud. So our delegators are kept informed about the rewards and they and they as they assured and the expected returns on their delegations. Next please. So what is the social benefit? You know, though the Goma Stake Pool, you support conservation efforts within the Virunga National Park, which is the oldest in Africa and a home to several endangered species. Next. So we also promote ecotourism in some, showing some places you can visit here around Goma. Uh, so you can see here gorillas from Virunga National Park. Uh, you know these these guys ca came to visit to visit the volcano the lava lake on the Nyiragongo volcano and these are some islands you can be interested to visiting here around Goma. Next, yeah, this image, this this image is from Kauzi Biega National Park. Uh, this is a, a female grower gorilla. Uh, this is named Mukono. It's a lowland gorilla from Kauzi Biga Park. She gave birth to the first lowland baby gorilla of the year 2023 in last February. So the Goma Pool team, we are planning a touristic trip to go to visit uh, this gorilla family. Next. 
So, and as blockchain development, uh, we are teaching our skill in Plutus. These are weekly activities that are funded by the stack pool, Go, though the, the hub within Easy Algonac in downtown Goma. Next. So, yeah. Apart from traditional rewards you earn by staking with Guma stake pool, you have also grant to CNC ALA tokens and a decrease of 15% on Kemiland passes. Next. Yeah, some partnerships. We got to tie some partnerships along the way. And the first one is with Isdil Rolak. So this is our, Isdil Rolak is our physical host and our physical server in some activities are hosted here. It's easy to go like. And WADA, what is a, an international organization with local footprints? WADA equips our developers and entrepreneurs with educational materials and how to slide computers and other office equipments. And the Climate Natural Cardano is also a partner. Uh, this Climate Natural Cardano is an alliance of Cardano stake pools committed to using 100% uh, of renewable energy to operate their stack pool servers. Next. Yeah, so Cardano for good, Cardano for refugees. You know, uh, this eastern part of, of my country, of uh, DRC of Congo, uh, has been really uh, moderated by armed conflict since now about 25 years. And uh, the recent armed conflict caused a large displacement of, of people, families. Now about 35,000 families have, have been obliged to leave their homes and villages and came to install in two camps. So in the last month, uh, the Goma team, we took some time to go to visit what was going on there. And really it was harmful to realize the humanitarian crisis that these people are living in. So in the last month, we started talking of this on, on Twitter and just some people got interested in, in organizing some assistance uh, for these displaced people. And this is how we, we started collaborating with uh, Token Mithrandir. Uh, they decided to help by uh, organizing a collection of of NFTs that are being sold to have, to help to raise some funds and organize an assistance uh, for refugees. So we are planning to enlarge to enlarge this this campaign and see uh, how we can reach out to people that can help. Uh, organize and assistance for these people. So I don't know whether uh, someone from Mitranjit Token is is with us here. So we we'll maybe give them some some minutes to to just uh, share a word about uh, what they are doing with us. Next slide. Yeah. Uh, so this is the one of the pictures we took when we went to uh, to visit these camps. So as you can see on the image, really, the, I don't know whether I can call these houses. <laughs> these small things you see behind there, these are things that people are using as houses in the camp. You can see a, for a for something like this, a family of five or seven people are just uh, living inside. So this really is imaginable situation people are going through here. And so we aim just to expose this, maybe uh, people, uh, well, with good as human, may be interested in organizing some assistance. We're going to see next week how we can spread this and talk of this to maybe in the whole Cardano community. Next slide. Yep, this is Mtidano NF3 for erosion control. Uh, this is our fund nine uh, funded proposal. Uh, this proposal consists of uh, planting 10 thousand fast growing trees in the region of high risk of erosion and and link each tree uh, to a dynamic nft uh, so we are working on this project and up to now we uh, we are trying to enlarge our our nursery to get these 10,000 trees and in next weeks we're going to the ground uh, to first uh, plant the first round of trees so uh, we will keep informing people about what is going on. So the next video, the next slide will be our uh, partnership with CNC. So come on, play it.
yeah so thank you thank you i don't know whether we can now take uh questions before lucas jumps in with cardano wallets or we just uh, take them after i don't know if there are any questions maybe we can just answer them before we, we keep up and uh, be before questions uh i think we can take the the one from mitrandi is there anyone no sé si hay una persona que viene de Token Mutrandir. Uh, puede empezar con la explicación. No sé si hay una cosa que hablar ahí. Si no hay. Uh, I would like to, to repeat in a, a, a resume what Martin was talking about in French for the French community. Bonjour tout le monde, c'était Marte qui était en train de présenter à Gomapool et Stakepool ce que nous faisons, ce que nous sommes, où en sommes-nous. Et il a donné uh, certaines lignes, il a dit que nous sommes entrés uh, uh, de maintenir un Stakepool ici dans la ville de Goma, même s'il y a des difficultés, des, des, des connexions. Et des fois on a la connexion, des fois on n'a pas l'électricité et ça nous donne du mal. Et nous avons des activités pour lutter contre l'érosion, par exemple, dans les territoires de Massissi, qui n'a pas, bien sûr, encore été bien entamé, mais qui est en cours. Et également, l'activité de collecte des fonds pour les, les déplacer dans le cas de Cagnarotina et de Boulengo. Et nos mains sont toujours tendues à, à, aux gens qui peuvent faire des dons pour des gens qui souffrent. Il a montré... Uh, des maisons où ils passent nuit, des fois des enfants n'ont pas à manger et leurs mamans et d'autres mamans font uh, des naissances dans ces cas-là. C'est ce que uh, Marte était en train d'expliquer, de, tel que vous voyez l'immense avec des, des cabanes dedans. C'est là que les gens passent nuit, uh, même cinq personnes par famille, tel que vous pouvez voir là-bas. Et alors, nos mains sont toujours tendues pour récolter des fonds pour ces familles qui sont en souffrance plus de 50, uh, de ces, de 50 millions de, de personnes sont, uh, sont, sont dans ce, 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 ce genre de, de maisons presque partout à l'est de la RDC, ici à Goma, à Beni, à Boutembo, et plus au sud. Alors, si vous vraiment, vous, vous avez quelque chose à donner, vous pouvez offrir quelque chose et si vous voulez nous contacter, nous sommes sur Twitter uh, sous le nom de Steak Goma. Si vous voulez uh, uh, vraiment aider ces familles, vous pouvez nous contacter facilement là-bas. C'est tout ce que Martin était en train de dire en anglais pour ceux-là qui ne comprennent que les Français. Merci beaucoup. I think Mr. Uh, Lucas can jump on with the Cardano wallet. Thank you. Okay. Um... Just want to say congratulations for for all the work you you were doing. It's really inspiring, and um, yeah, I think we should have more projects like you on on Cardano. Um, so um, for the for the yeah, I think I have a mix on the call. He's doing a thumbs up, and it's nice to see you here as well. Um, so I'm just gonna zoom out of this presentation. And um, what, I, what I had prepared here was basically we had the same uh, Myro that we used on last session. Today we have a few more participants. Um, just to start from my side, my name is Lucas. I have been in, around Cardano for some um, nine months um, on different communities. And one of the initiatives I started was this community, this initiative to teach people how to use wallets on Cardano. So we go over a number of, of different uh, sessions and you can access the recording for these uh, on YouTube through this uh, link, link tree, uh, Cardano for non-text. And um, so what I'm planning to do today is to basically, I'm not going to be creating wallets uh, necessarily on the call, but I just wanted to, if it's interesting for the people, I see Abel, Isaac, Jack, and uh, M. Ali Modiri. Um, 
if you have any input that you that you that you can can give about who you are, what you what you're doing in Cardano, um, we would love to know a bit uh, what you you know to, to get to know you a bit better, and maybe that would inform a bit what um, we're trying to do today about the the wallets. Does anyone want to say hi? Maybe even say something about the presentation that uh, Boaz and and um, Martin presented to us. So I see you're basically on spectator mode. So um, again, feel free to open your mic and eat in time and, and jump in. So um, like I said, um, we have these topics here, which basically is, is a bit what, what we've been going over. Um, I had put some cards in for any uh, expectations from your side to know how, how um, at ease you are with the wallets on Cardano. Um, Maybe what I can do here is exactly to come from the session where we start on the very first session. Um, we have some links around here. These are all coming from the link tree, Cardano for non like, like I said. So if you scroll to session one, this was recorded at this date uh, already, so it's been a while. And um, one of the first things that I start by doing is uh, inviting people to create a text document uh, because we're going to be playing on testnet, so we're not going to be using real ADA on, on the main network. Uh, I invite people to use this type of template so that they can get familiar with what is a public address, a private uh, recovery or seed phrase, and make a note of these things for themselves. Uh, I have this already here uh, on a text file, and this is what I'm inviting you to do. And... Um, well, if you start by copying this to a simple text file, then you can replace the bits that we, we are going to obtain. Um, if you go through the, the documentation that you have here, you have this playground sheet, which is this one. And from here, if we go to the, uh, let me just move this out of the way. So if you go to the links and tools uh, tab, you have some links here on the on the top for Nami Wallet, Game Changer, Eternal, and Typhoon. Uh, these were mostly on the old testnet, which is now uh, disconnected. So we're going to be focusing on pre-production now. And um, yeah, so this is what what uh, I have uh, prepared here today, just to take you through uh, the wallets that I have here. So starting with the simplest one, um, Nami Wallet. Uh, in this case, I've already started it on my uh, browser. So I've went through the procedures that you can see if you go to Linktree and play the videos, I think. I'm not sure if I got to this screen. So if you go from Linktree to YouTube, you have the first session, second session, etc. What we're doing is the very basic thing on the very first session. And uh, I've already done that uh, on this browser. And so here, if I click on my NAMI, I am already seeing it uh, working uh, normally, let's say. And I even already have a little of uh, test ADA and some uh, tokens. But as you can see here on the bottom left, it is uh, configured to go to pre-production. So I can come here and confirm or change that by going to the settings and then network. And so this is where I changed that to be on pre-production. Another thing I did um, that you can do as well if you want uh, and follow the, the videos is uh, I came here to the links that we have and I went to the faucet. So faucet is literally like a tap where you can go. I'm just, I can actually open this if it's still up to date. So what I did for that to get some, some test data is uh, because it's, test ADA, it's just to play with. It's You don't need to buy it with any uh, currency or anything. So I just came here and gave the my wallet address. That's how I got a bit of ADA. And again, this is explained on the video. So now um, what we're going to be doing today is really just getting familiar with how they look to use them. And um, so if I come back out of this, this is the typical home screen for uh, Nami Wallet. You have your assets there and the typical receive and send button. For example, if I click the receive button, you're gonna see it's showing me my address 
and if I click copy, it copies that address so that I can send it, send this uh, bit of text or this uh, address to someone. And that's exactly what I copied and uh, made a note of. As you can see, it's the same one they already had here. And so this is what we're teaching as well in the session. So yeah, NamiWall is really simple. You just have a, a basic uh, send and receive button. I'm just gonna, it's a bit annoying that it keeps disappearing, to be honest. But uh, if I click on send, it's going to ask me for uh, someone's address. And that's where I, I need to paste in uh, some address that someone sent me, select a bit of ADA to send, and then progress with the, with the sending. I'm not going to be doing that uh, today. I'm just really showing you a bit uh, how the wallets look like. And for people that are not really familiar with uh, what is Web3, what is Cardano, um, this type of thing is basically what you're, you're going to have to install on your browser so that then you can go to certain websites and use this balance on the website. So that was uh, Nami Wallet. Um, I'm going to go from the simplest one to maybe we have Nami, Typhoon, Game Changer, and Eternal. So I'm going to go from Nami to Typhoon now. If there's any questions, again, don't hesitate to open your mic and jump in. So I'm just loading my Typhoon. I was just here now recently. Uh, not sure why it, what happened to it. Hey, Lucas, I just uh, wanted to say that uh, hey. the reason I didn't open my mic was I was waiting for others to come and introduce and you know, talk. Mm -hmm. So uh, after the uh, your presentation, uh, I can introduce myself. And OK, OK. Talk about it. So take your time. Thank you. So I don't usually use Typhoon. I was just demoing it. And there we go. Now it's up. So um, it's a bit more complicated than, oh, <laughs> it lost my, my configuration. You, you could see there for a second that it had a, a slightly different configuration. I'm using it on the browser. I'm not really sure. I'm not the best person to, to demo this specific wallet. But um, yeah, it's, it's really just a... a intermediate it's different flavors of the same thing you have a send and receive button um if i wanted now for example like this this screen gives me the opportunity to show you a bit uh these um seed phrases the these the seed phrase with 24 words if i wanted to recover it i would need to come in and uh, switch this to 24 and just start you know uh, inserting those words there and it's not the same one but it's really just to illustrate uh, I would need to put in words all the way to the end and then this is how I would import my my seed phrase into uh, Typhoon but we want to make sure that we are using a legitimate software because you can't really give this pass phrase to any application. You shouldn't uh, give it to any application, actually, unless it's a very uh, secure wallet that you've obtained from a secure place. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to be demoing uh, Typhoon here right, because I had this glitch. I'm just going to move on to the next one. And that can be a uh, game changer. I have it running already. Um, Game Changer is now on version two. It was re recently released. And here I'm also on the pre-production network. So that's why I have pre-prod on the URL. And um, one thing that's nice about uh, Game Changer is that you can try it yourselves. And actually this is not one of the most known wallets on, on Cardano, but I really uh, think it's really useful for some, um, some use cases. So if I can find my chat button, I'm going to drop the URL for the pre-production version. And I invite any of you to just go in because it's it's basically the one-click uh, uh, way, simplest way for you to see what a wallet looks like, even if you never want, if you've never used it, if you're you're not familiar with anything uh, on wallets, you can go to this URL. You're going to get to the wallet, and it's going to be empty, but it's going to have a balloon similar to this one on top, saying your wallet is really empty. Do you want to give it? Do you want us? 
uh, game changer to offer you some tokens. So if you click that, you get some uh, fake USD, some test ADA, and some other NFTs. And so, uh, like I was saying, it's really a versatile wallet because you can do from the very basic things to a more advanced down there. So if we take a look, receive is really just a typical thing, a bit like I, I showed you on NAMI. It also gives you uh, an address that you can copy, but it also gives you a convenient QR code that I could even copy and um, you know include in an email or in other, other types of, of uh, situations. So this is the receiving part. If I go to send, because now I already have some um, some um, tokens. Uh, let me just try to get an address here from someone. So what we do on Cardano for non is we have these types of sandboxes where everyone is signed up and we share our addresses with each other. So now, for example, I can easily come here and get someone else's address and simulate that I'm going to do a transaction for them. So that way it's valid. And um, after doing the smart send, I put in my address, I select pick assets, and now it's showing me all the assets that I have on my wallet. And I can say, okay, this is ADA, I'm going to click it. Of the 19 ADA that I have, I want to send 10 and accept. And of the 200 fake USD, so this is just play money, like I said, we're all just on testnet. So out of these 210, I want to send 100. So it's quite user friendly, uh, especially if you're on uh, your computer. I'm not going to be uh, going ahead with the whole with the whole transaction now, but um, it's just to give you an illustration of how this would be. And uh, here it's also giving you a simulation, very user friendly, of how much fee you're going to be paying. So I have the amount that I want to send, plus the fee, plus the the other tokens. Sorry. Uh, so this is the total I mean. This is the amount I want to send plus the fee gives me the total and a bit of this. And now if I wanted to send, I just need to click the button. And uh, in, a, in an actual game changer wallet with a password, I would need to introduce this password to insert this password. Um, so that's the, the smart send. Uh, other things interesting that Game Changer has here is an NFT creator, for example. You can just come in here and get a, an image of yourself, especially if you're playing on testnet. You could just get a, an image of something and drop, drop it in, create the NFT, send it to people to play around. And this is what we've seen, for example, when um, what I did was I have I got these offerings from Game Changer and I send it to my uh, NAMI wallet. So if I go there, just to show you how the NFTs look on other wallets, uh, you see there I have fake USD that I got from Game Changer. I have some other uh, NFT tokens, uh, especially if I turn to this side, I have the collectibles. And so this is a bit how they look. So if I come to this one, it's showing me the image that uh, was used to create this NFT. And I can even send it or set it as an avatar. So we're going to see this uh, in a bit in Eternal as well, but uh, let's go back to this. Um, I think I jumped over this one here, which is interesting as well. So it's an asset showcase of all the assets that I have in my game changer. I can say, okay, I have, sorry, I have a bit of ADA, which is the official coin for uh, Cardano, the, the main, the only coin, the others are just tokens. And I have a, a bit of Game Changer token, and I have some technical information about the, the token here. And if I go forward, I have a bit of same thing, just a token with some technical information called fake USD. And here it gets a bit more interesting because here I have uh, an NFT, which has the image. And I can also click that image to see it in a, in a tab of its own. It's coming from IPFS, which is something that happens with NFTs. The um, balance or, or um, you know, the holding of your asset is in your wallet, but the image is actually in this file system called IPFS, which is pointing to the image. And if I go to the next one, same thing. Usually you would get bigger images. This is really just an illustration of how things work. And so, yeah, so this is the, asset showcase for a uh, game changer. Um, here, I'm not really so familiar with this, but uh, 
you could be using a game changer to interact with websites and your pending operations on websites we'd be showing here and from here on uh, playground is a bit more technical but i actually was experimenting with this because uh, i have a partner a colleague that um, was asking me um, for a solution because every month he needs to send the same um, transaction to some 30 or 40 people. And it's really painful on other wallets because he needs to, uh, you know, put in the address for everyone and then tweak everything. And Game Changer is quite user friendly on some sides. But if you come to this side on the playground, what I was testing, and I haven't seen, and I haven't done this myself, but I was really on the process of testing it before I came to this call. Uh, so here we have a script, which is uh, open source for a uh, community. And we have a small example of what could be a pre-made script of a transaction. And let's see how this, uh, how this works. So I dropped the code there that I could have been saving on a text file or something. And I can tweak it uh, as long as it, uh, I don't break any address or something like that. Then I can turn to the preview. And in this case, it has an invalid testnet output address. So let me just try to cheat a bit here. If I come there and I drop it there. And bear with me a second. Just gonna get three three random addresses from this one, drop them here. See if I can now turn to preview. There we go. So those wallet addresses were outdated, let's say from from a different standard. And okay, we still have you know you, we need to have more ADA in our wallet to send this transaction. But you see a bit how uh, Game Changer can be very flexible. And uh, if I had enough ADA for this transaction. I could probably go ahead with this. So, or in this case, it's actually not just sending ADA, it's sending a specific token. So yeah, that's enough for, for a game changer. I think you found, you, you, you'll you you'll agree that it's quite interesting as a, as a wallet. And then just to close on uh, the fourth wallet that I wanted to show you today, it's gonna be um, internal. And um, as you can see, I have the same type of assets that I have because what I did was, the seed phrase that I made a note of when I created my NAMI wallet, um, I can use it on other wallets because the wallets are really just uh, an interface so that you can uh, go in and give orders to the blockchain. Your assets are not in the wallet. They're actually on the blockchain and the wallet is just an interface. You can use the same seed phrase on this one or that one, or I can import it to Game Changer or Typhoon. So what you see here is exactly that I have the same amount of uh, fake USD and uh, other tokens. It's being accessed through different applications because these balances are actually on the blockchain. So now turning to um, Eternal itself, the, the main screen is not so user-friendly as Game Changer. It gives me a lot more information about the delegation of my stake. So everyone that has ADA should be delegating it to a specific, to a certain uh, stake pool. And um, oh, and Boaz is saying they should be delegating to uh, Goma Pool, which is quite a, a good idea. Yeah, thanks. Um, I wasn't paying attention on on the chat. I just caught this one now, this message now. But again, feel free to interrupt me. Um, so yeah, this wallet, for example, I haven't been delegating it because it's just a pre-production test net wallet. But on a real one, you should do that. And uh, let's take a look at how we do that. You can come to staking. And you can just search for a wallet. I don't think that I'm going to find Goma here because you know these are just uh, everything is on the pre-production network. But if you search for it, you should find it with a real uh, with a real mainnet um, wallet. And by the way, I'm looking at this because this is where you toggle um, between the same way that on Nami I went to network settings. Here on Eternal, you can come to the bottom right and you can toggle it. So currently you see the green dot on pre-production, which is where I am, and the Cardano mainnet would be if I click there. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into very, very much detail. I'm just gonna 
race through these screens. So on the main one, you have the summary of how much ADA you want, how much ADA you have, in this case, test ADA. And a bit of it is locked because it's holding my tokens in my wallet. Uh, here we've seen this as well. And uh, if I click a bit like um, Game Changer was showing me some technical details, this shows me a bit of, of more uh, places that I can click to go and see about the policy or the assets and everything. And um, on the NFTs, it's a little more a little more interesting. You have the IPFS again, which is the file server or the file system where the the image is actually being stored and some more information. Usually when people create NFTs, they can add any attributes that they want here. And yeah, it's usual. It's good because uh, Eternal, uh, in my case, personally, I have some seven wallets around there and you can use a specific one as your wallet icon. And now I set it as wallet icon and now it's showing there. So I could add more wallets. It's one of the advantages of Eternal versus NAMI, for example. Uh, Game Changer also allows you to have several wallets. You can come here and, and then you can toggle between them the same way that on Eternal, I can toggle between them here. Um, here we have something interesting, which is a bit more technical around uh, how many, uh, let's say, coins I got. And uh, you can see here that I have this one, this one, and this one, which are um, outputs of previous transactions. And on the same output there, I have a bit of test data and these, uh, these other tokens in this. So basically I got my 240 ADA, I got them in these little uh, containers or these little coins. I have a 200 coin, the 10 coin, and a 30 with these, which are all together. Um, yeah, you can also have several accounts within one specific wallet in Eternal. I don't think you can do this with many others. And it's really useful if you want to separate your, your account within your seed phrase or within your stake key. Um, and that's it. Here we have a bit of the history of transactions which that you can unfold. So for someone that really wants to understand everything that's happening, I still recommend Eternal. Um, but the, it's good that you sometimes have the same seed phrase imported on several ones because you can see things from different angles. For example, you can have a simpler wallet on your phone just to to uh if you have friends that are cardano fans you can exchange some cardano friends some card some uh, test ada or some actual ada with friends when you go out uh, with your phone but uh, some of them are more easy to use on the laptop um i think this is uh good for now let me know if you have any questions i've been speaking for a while so i'm just gonna pipe down and uh let me know if you have questions or um, I'll pass the mic back to Boaz. Right, thank you. Uh, I think there are some questions from Goma and uh, I, I don't know if they are related to to this session or not. Uh, the first question uh, came from Mr. Baudouin. It was in front. Mm -hmm. He would like to know if it's possible to take an NFT from the wallet mm -hmm. to the marketplace? If yes, how? The second question okay. uh, was from Mr. Isaac, also from Goma. He would like to know how to, to know uh, someone is NFT value from a wallet, yeah, in EDA. That mm -hmm. <laughs> those are mm -hmm. two questions like I could see in the chat. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's go over that uh, in a way. What I was explaining is um, for uh, Baudouin's question. Um, I'm just going to speak in English because uh, mon français est pénible. <laughs> so so uh, yeah. So um, like uh, just to start explaining about the NFTs. If we go here to the asset showcase and go to one of them. You could even create NFTs on um, on Game Changer, for example, here, an NFT creator. Uh, or you could use NMaker or other tools, or you could even do it with pure code. Because in the end, an NFT is just an image uh, and some um, metadata that you associate with it. 
and uh, to create an NFT is not uh, is not that hard. Uh, if we go there to NFT creator, you like I explained, you would go and give it an image, fill in some fields, and you have an NFT. Like we have those that are I've been presenting. The thing is, uh, what gives value to your NFT? It's like if you draw, if you take a sheet of paper, of paper, and make a drawing on it, it's your drawing. Uh, it's not necessarily valuable. Yeah, but if you take uh, anything that has to do with the community, that has to do with um, Okay, uh, bye, Mix. Nice having you here. Cheers. Um, so if you if you, the, what gives value to the NFT is people that like it, that want to hold it, and that are willing to pay for it. So um, to Baudouin's question, to make it is is very easy. You can use these tools and, or get in touch with us more. Um, but then you you would have it in your wallet. It's important to create it according to certain standards. And you can go to jpeg.store, for example, which is the main NFT marketplace on Cardano. You would come here because I have all these wallets, but they are pre-production. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to connect to JPEG store. But uh, this is really just like a, a marketplace where you come and uh, you connect your wallet. You say you want to create a collection. For example, if you came to Game Changer, you make an nft of the 12 seasons of the year and you create 100 of each season oh, sorry the 12 months of, of the year in or or signs of the zodiac whatever and you create all that in your wallet and then you come to jpeg store and you place all those assets in the market it's going to depend if they are really beautiful and if people want to pay something for it uh, this is a place where they can be published and people can uh, bid or offer you money or correspond to the money to the amount of, of ADA that you have requested for your your NFTs. So it's crazy because some of these NFTs get to amazing uh, high values, but it's really because uh, in these cases, you can see that they are communities of people. It's uh, 100, 200, uh, hundreds of people that are around here. For example, here's 3,000 people that like these kinds of drawings. And that's how that's why they are willing to pay 700 ADA for a drawing like this. The advantage of the NFT is that when they have it, when you have it in your wallet, it's really yours and no one can take it from you. It's like a title of ownership of this drawing. Um, I think I put basically answered both of the questions, but let me know, uh, même en français, si vous voulez, uh, if you have any question, any more questions. Voilà, merci beaucoup pour répondre à la question de, de Baudouin. Je pense que euh, la démonstration a été parfaite. Euh, on a dit aussi que vous pouvez créer vos propres NFT euh, avec Game Changer, par exemple. Et ici, on est en train de montrer un exemple euh, de, de marché d'NFT. Euh, C'est jpg.store. Euh, je, je pense qu'on qu a déjà fait connaissance dans les Goma Pool. Et c'est de là que vous pouvez euh, créer un NFT, tel qu'il expliquait à euh, M. Lucas. On ne sait pas si vous avez été satisfait, M. Baudouin. Voilà. Et oui, la question oui, 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 oui. c'est la même chose. Oh, voilà. C'était dans la même perspective et directement. Découvrir les, les prix de son NFT. Et Lucas, thank you very much. I don't know if there are other questions or okay sorry i was speaking on mute um i was just saying you have this other website that you can use to to explore collections yeah, I, I, I 
quelqu'un include I'm suffering here and uh, uh, my, my voice <laughs> begins uh, to interrupt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, for my part, uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any, any other questions, let me know. If not, I'm just going to stop sharing my screen for now. The computer is lagging a bit as well. Maybe any final words words from uh, Martin or Boaz? Any yeah. ideas for the, for the next session next month? Yes, yes. Uh, so thank you everyone for uh, making this real, for making this possible by your participation. Uh, so uh, next next month we'll still be here in in the Goma Monthly in our breakout room, and we'll be happy to have you all here. Uh, we'll be sharing more information about the topic and the speakers in in the coming days. So uh, thank you for everyone. Thank you for everyone. Thank you, Lucas. Yeah, for having made this possible. Uh, thank you, all guys from from Goma for taking uh, of your time uh, to come and join us here today uh, in the after town hall. If there is no, there is no other other thing to add. So we can maybe some some would like to go back in some other breakout rooms. I don't know, but we can close this if there is nothing else to add. Voilà, je okay. disais euh, merci, merci à tout le monde d'avoir participé. Et la prochaine session de Goma Manfli vous sera communiquée. Et voilà, comme il n'y a pas de questions, et on peut déjà fermer la session. Et nous espérons tous pouvoir euh, vous retrouver les mois prochains dans Goma Manfli. Merci. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.